praise God. Let us give the glory to God. I have one scripture to read. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7. And faith, I want you to hear this. An angel. An Abra. And Namo, if you are watching. And Eva, if you and 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 Emma, if you're watching. It says love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is always hopeful. And love endures through every circumstance. Ever, ever, ever since we heard the news of Gideon's demise, our love has not wavered. Our love has held on. Our love has not given up. Our love has not been lost. And our love is still enduring in faith in such a time as this. For those of you who are at the prayer mountain, I already said that um, I've known the children for a long time because the Holy Spirit led them to me after the demise of their mother. And God has been faithful in every travail. He has been faithful in their education. He has been faithful regarding their faith. He has been regarding their health and he has been faithful regarding their choice of partners of marital partners. I think um, a while ago, uh, Gideon sent me a text message. And he was asking me to pray about the business that him and Faith were about to be involved in. I was happy. The same way I was happy after I had preached a sermon on his day of marriage. I have been happy at every step these children have taken. And I remember that the day after I had preached on his wedding, I couldn't even um, attend the reception. I had gathered people that we have we that had stood with me in prayer. And we had our own small kitchen celebration. And I danced. And I rejoiced. And I praised God. It was a time of rejoicing. Before um after we had, the, after I had the news of his demise, it was unbelievable. You don't want a child to come this far and have to bury him at a time when you should be rejoicing. But my faith was ignited. And it has been ignited more by my daughter-in-law. Faith, I want to thank you for pure love. 
Faith in Jagala Kweba Zolo Kwera no Kwagalo Kwada. Love does that, that does not give up. O Kwagalo Kutawanika. Love that does not lose hope and love that endures throughout every circumstance and we know that it is never too late for God but you have set a standard which is typical of what the Bible says when the enemy attempted to come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord has set a standard and we will never forget what God has done Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13 says and after you have done all stand and after you have done all stand we are standing we are standing and I'm looking the enemy in the face to say that we are standing we have done all we have fasted we have, fasted. We have refrained from food we have prayed but we are still standing and we thank God for that and we will continue to stand and to believe and to push forward Job says that though the fig trees are barren. And the cattle all die. And my friends have left me. And the fields are empty. And they lie bare. Yet I will still praise his name. And today, I praise God for Gideon. I praise God for these children. I praise God for the Holy Spirit who led them my way. I praise God for their lives. Praise is not giving up. Praise is never about the way we feel. Praise is a decision. We have decided to praise him. We have decided to glorify him. He still remains Lord even up to now. He still remains seated on the throne. The thief at the cross, there were two thieves at the cross. One of them was grumbling about the situation and he said to Jesus, if you are God, why don't you deliver us? But the other thief, even though he was in pain, he made the decision to praise God. He said to his friend, aren't you afraid? This man is a king. This man is innocent. He went as far as talking about Jesus' kingdom. That is the definition of praise. Why am I praising God? Because these children have not been caught drunk. These children have not been caught on drugs. The, despite what has happened now, what is in the papers now is not drugs. It's not alcohol. It is someone. I am the resurrection and the life. And whoever believes in me shall not die but have eternal life. There are two types of resurrection because Gideon is not dead. There is a resurrection 
where someone will regain his original strength where he will walk and talk where we will see him again but there is another resurrection the resurrection in the bosom of Abraham where there is no pain there is no worry there is no stress even though we are still believing for the resurrection of the physical but still like um, Dr. Sechide said, God has the final choice. But Paul said, For me to live is Christ. But for me to die is gain. And so many times, of course, we acknowledge that. It was not yet, it's not yet time for Gideon to go. Because he has, he has lived in Christ. But there is a gain that we all have to face one day. And we will choose either to, and, and the choice is ours, either to, to, to die in gain or to die in loss. But like I said, we are still standing. We are still standing. I, I want to thank Apostle Mulinde for allowing to share these children with me. I cannot take it for granted. People are cautious of who speaks into their children's life. People are cautious of what type of, of mother the children have. But I want to thank you, Apostle, for allowing me to be a part of this beautiful family. I have seen many people on funerals, stand up and say goodbye. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm saying to Gideon, we haven't sent you away. We, we love you. Even if you may, you, you are in a better place. But our our our, our hearts and souls and spirits. Are ignited by faith. And we are believing to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The last thanks I want to give is to Jesus Christ. I remember on the wedding. Apostle Chimuli said if Nam is having a wedding Nam is Gideon's sister and, and, and Gideon is wedding and Angel is waiting a few weeks after that the devil has lost. And that is when I said, I went home and just celebrated with my prayer partners. But I will still say again today, the devil has lost. He has lost. Because we are no longer unaware of his vices. We are going to launch into spiritual warfare to pull down principalities and powers of darkness and rulers of powers of darkness. He has lost. Look at this great multitude. He has lost. Look at the testimonies. He 
has lost. What a wonderful faith and belief from such a beautiful wife. He has lost. And you will lose again and again. Jesus, I thank you. Yes, for these children for the life of Gideon for his choice to serve God for his faith and I praise you for whatever decision you will make. You are God Almighty. And there is none like you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. At this moment of time, before we go to hear from Apostle, 